Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2018 Panini Prism World Cup six box half case. Pick your team, pick your country break. Number nine. Half case from fresh case right here. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action on the 14th, Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. Thanks for spending your, your weekend day with me. Rich with that last spot mojo, Spain. There's everybody else. Remember, at the end of the break, if you bought at least three teams, you get one entry, one entry max, to try to get yourself 75 bucks of break credit, winner take all. Now, if you bought more than three teams, then you would have effectively blocked people from getting into the promo, which increases your odds, makes the list a lot smaller, less daunting. All right. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom row. And then we've got six on the top row right here. So we'll roll the die. One, two, three for the top row. Four, five, six for the bottom row. Good luck, rows. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do the bottom row right here. This top row will mark. with some Wolverine scratch marks running across there, so you know it's from the same case. Uh, second half is in the store right now. So if you wanna do the second half, I'm down. And same break credit deal in that one as well. All right. Good luck with this one. Now remember, not every box has an autograph in it, but there can be a low numbered parallel that replaces the autograph and a lot of times that often sells oftentimes resells better than an actual autograph plus a ton of inserts a lot of fun short printed parallels that you can chase a lot of great stuff in prism world cup ladies and gentlemen the world cup almost at an end ladies and gentlemen at 8 a.m pacific 11 a.m eastern time It'll be the World Cup final, so let's just let's just put it out there right now. Get the, get the discussion going. Who wins? Is it Croatia, the upstarts, or France? I believe France are the favorites. But let me know what country you think will win. If you're bold enough, if you're feeling spicy enough, tell me what the score will be. Whether it's you know, 1-0 in regulation, 2-3 in overtime, in extra time, 2-2, two, two, and then penalty kicks. Should be exciting, though, either way. I'll see if I... 8 a.m. is a little early for me on the West Coast, especially working this late at jazbeeshobbyland.com, but I'll, I'll try to get up. Bill saying, I'm ready for the, for the uh, Premier League season to start, the English Premier League season to start, so Arsenal can continue to make him miserable. <laughs> Rich says Croatia. And he says 1-1 penalty kicks. Wow, so Rich saying for the, what, fourth match in a row, Croatia will march into extended time, except it'll stay tied, and then it'll go into penalties. Croatia on penalties. Steals and deals saying, I want Croatia to win, but France might take it. Then again, Mbappe, or whatever that 19-year-old kid's player name is, will not play. Is he not playing tomorrow? That'd be pretty huge if he doesn't play tomorrow. I see no report that says he will not that he's injured. I think you may have the wrong player, steals and deals. Two 
two yellow cards last game, so he is out. No, that's not true. Um, it resets for the final. You have to get a red card in the same match to be out of the final. He was not sent off in the last match. Pedro for Spain. That goes to Rich. 104 out of 149. Now these are not numbered, but they'll still ship. But we'll, we'll kind of breeze by them. We've got Roman Torres, 53 out of 65 for Panama. For steals and deals, Mbappe's the difference. So he now he says France will win 2-1. Panama, this goes to Bill Mosher. There's Neymar for Brazil and his teammate Philip Coutinho out of 125. And there's Indaye for Senegal to 125. Senegal, that'll be for Daniel Patera. And who has Brazil? Gabriel with the Brazilians. Coutinho, great World Cup for him. Neymar had a decent World Cup too, but I think his sort of his rolling around antics I think really really puts off a lot of people, which is a shame because if he didn't do that, people would see just how talented he is. Bummer for Germany. I think they they were expected to go a lot further than they did. There's William Carvalho to 125. And there we go. No auto in this box. And I'm not sure what the low numbered card was it was in this box. That goes to Portugal. Maybe that maybe that Coutinho to 125. All right, next box. Belgium and England were today. The third place match, Belgium winning that one. They won it in pretty commanding fashion. Um, unfortunately, not com they could have been that commanding in, in the, the match before, but did not, did not get through. Did I miss one of the that that usually is flipped around the the Cyrillic where the name is in the different language they usually flip that around unless I miss that maybe they don't maybe they didn't flip it around Bill saying they shouldn't have to play that game, the third place match. Yeah, it's always a, it's always a little weird. Definitely, definitely has to be a letdown for those teams, right? Right. Imagine blowing out your knee in a third place match. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't think anyone play, really plays that hard in a third place match. No one wants to get injured, you know. And I think I think England put on like, I think there were five changes in that lineup. 
They sub a lot of guys out early, so it's it really amounts to to an exhibition match. It's really I, I think it really only exists for for people like Harry Kane, who didn't score today, but who I think is is the golden ball or golden goal, golden boot leader, right? So like he could have padded his his lead for for that. And for the golden gloves as well for the for the most saves in the tournament by a goalkeeper. I think that's why it exists and that's that. Double check that. Maybe I'm. It's kind of weird. I mean, we we have run into those boxes every once in a while, but usually there's like a landmarks card or a, you know, or a Russia city card or something like that. No, I don't, I don't see anything, so I guess... Uh... What do we do with the base card? That's how I get paid, Bill Mosher. I take all these vet... the commons that we don't send. The commons that we don't, we don't send out. I take over to the local card show. Grind that out five cents at a time, two to five cents at a time, and that's how I get paid. So I appreciate you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Jerome Boateng out of 199 for the Germans. And these uh, connections refractors, not too many, not too many refractors right here. Now they, they get collected and donate, donated to, uh, or if kids come into the store, we usually give kids like a stack of of base cards, of common cards. And eventually, the, a lot of times, we donate them chunks of boxes and boxes of those at a time. All right. Is that an autograph? It is. Carlos Valderrama for Colombia. Nice one for Bill Mosher. There you go, Bill. On the board with the first auto of the break. And Australia gets that refractor. That would be Kit. Not too many of those, Kit. The refractor versions. And the auto. Love, love Valderrama's hair. Classic. These ones aren't numbered either, folks. Just FYI. But they will ship. Same with that. There's Subasic right here, the Croatian keeper. Guardado. Brian Ruiz, and then we've got for Morocco, Belhanda, Younes Belhanda for Morocco. That goes to Big Boys, 007. 19 out of 149. 
There you go. That box in the books. All right, next one. Good luck, everybody. I think um, I think France is going to take it, ladies and gentlemen. I think France is going to win the World Cup, and I think they'll win. I think they'll uh, two. I say two one, two one to France in regulation. It could even be. I could even see one nil to France. I feel like they they're gonna they could come out strong, score a goal early, and then just shut down shop. You know, because they have the they have the the players, the ability, the talent to to shut down shop and absorb the attack of Croatia. But then also the talent, if Croatia equalizes at 1-1, they have the talent to to just open up the game a little bit, go forward, and get the game winner, and then shut down shop again. <laughs> They've got that kind of defense. Ideally, it'd be an open game. You know, everyone, everyone just free-flowing football, attacking everywhere. 4-3. But I feel like that doesn't happen a lot in, in a World Cup final. Like a high-scoring World Cup final doesn't happen too often. I also, full disclosure, I also have France to win the World Cup at plus 700 before the World Cup started. So I've got, I've got a stake in the action. This is true, Stephen, K Stephen K says, yeah, but the French are well known for surrendering throughout history. That is true. They, they have history against them. But they managed okay when they won it in 1998. So maybe they'll channel that history. All right, next box. There's Musa Dembele and Andres Iniesta for Spain. In fact, a winning member of that 1998 French World Cup team, Didier Deschamps, is the uh, is the coach for the current French team. So he's been there before. Looks like another autograph coming up. That's a good one. All right. There's Nasser Chadli, and the autograph is for for Nigeria. Kalichi. Ihia Nacho. Nigeria, that was a late pickup. Kip Kip Hooray, picking up Nigeria. We'll save one of these Luka Modric's for Quiz Croatian this break. Kip does. There you go, Kip. Again, the refractors for these for these guys are not not super common, so that alone may have some value. If Croatia wins the World Cup, that Luka Modric would have value, and if Croatia loses the World Cup, generally the runner-up team, a member of the runner-up team, oftentimes gets the golden ball, the best player of the tournament. That could be Luka Modric. Who has been praised for uh, for his motor, his engine? There's Nemanja Matic for Serbia. Bill Mosher with the Serbians. It's out of 199. Diego Reyes. There's Iniesta again. And fundamentals, Jordan Henderson. You're a defensive midfielder for Liverpool and England. 
Although didn't didn't quite get as far as they needed. It's not coming home, ladies and gentlemen. I wish it had. England has not won it since uh, 1966. I don't think it has been in a semifinal since 1990. Raheem Sterling, I, this guy just needs to... England actually could look pretty dangerous in a couple years in the Euros. Euros 2020... And then the next World Cup after that, a lot of those younger players with some extra experience under their belt. Raheem Sterling, all he needs to do is finish. He was always in position for the goals, but he just needs to needs to be able to convert those shots and turn those into goals. Once he can do that, not only, not only will he be dangerous, even more dangerous for Manchester City. Actually, he scored fine in Manchester City, but... Once he does that for the English national team, that'll be great because it just won't be relying on, on say, the prowess of Harry Kane to do all the work. Gavin saying, when's the next live stream? We stream Tuesday through Saturday, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. Five days a week, 52 weeks a year. And we've been doing that for the last two years. Three years, maybe. At least two. Isn't that the knock-on? No, I, no. Uh, not, that's not the knock-on Sterling for country, maybe. For club, I feel like he, he put together double-digit goals this season, didn't he? For country, though, seems a little uh, not not quite there. I guess when you don't have when you don't have Manchester the City surrounding you on the pitch, maybe it's a little more difficult for Raheem Sterling. In the football world, the soccer world, in the soccer world, there's a uh, uh, the, the the sports topic the sports talk radio t topic of uh, of interest has been if if England as they're constructed now if they were in the Premier League where would they finish in the table and pretending that you know like there's like two Raheem Sterling's there's one there's Raheem Sterling for Manchester City and then there's Raheem Sterling for England if England were in the Premier League where would they finish in the table. For you Premier League fans out there. I don't think they'd win the title. <laughs> Alex Witzel. Isco. There's Mesut Ozil. I don't know. Is he still at Chelsea? I know they got a they did they just got a new uh, new manager Antonio Conte for Chelsea is out and then someone else is in. And here's an autograph, and it's going to be nice Peter Schmeichel for Denmark, the legendary Danish keeper, one of the best keepers just in the world of all time. Denmark. That goes to Lee Cheesman. Nice. And of course, his son Casper Schmeichel, also a great keeper, also plays for Denmark. There's Casper Schmeichel, like father, like son, Marcus Rashford. And Musa Sao for Senegal.
Who's your dude at Arsenal? There's Gabriel Torres for Panama. For Bill Mosher. And the next little bit here. There you go. All right. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Second half in the store right over there, jazbeeshobbyland.com. If you buy at least three teams, if you buy at least three teams, you'll get a... Uh, you'll get one entry, one entry max, into a... A randomizer for 75 bucks of break credit. No, Ozil is Arsenal, isn't he? Well, I guess I was just thinking Chelsea news with Antonio Conte. Is Are they going to keep Ozil at Arsenal? Who was I thinking of? I was thinking of someone else then. How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel Arsenal is going to do this season, Bill? In a post Wenger world, um, we had one, two, three autographs out of uh, five, bo four boxes so far. Which is actually a good return. For Liverpool, I think uh, they had some they they had some uh, transfers, trades, free agent acquisitions. Got some signings there, squared away. They still do not have a new goalkeeper, which I feel like they're still working on for the summer. We've started some preseason matches, which have been somewhat inconsistent. They're waiting for a, a few guys to come over from the national team, too. I expect... Um, well, I, I expect another top four... At least another top four finish for Liverpool this season. Now, how far they go in Champions League, Cups, you know, stuff like that, I, I, I know not. I think... You know, we'll kind of take that as as they come. But I think finishing top four just to secure another Champions League spot is kind of crucial in in maintaining Liverpool's kind of recent turnaround. What were some of the guys you picked up, Bill? Arsenal. All right. Fifth box. Good luck, everybody. Oh, early on the auto. Let's leave that there for a second. There's Nicholas Bentner. Lukaku. Yeah, I can't imagine Carrius being around for two. I think Liverpool may just try to pretend that uh, that they're not too desperate for a keeper. But I think everyone knows that they're looking for a keeper. Um, Hajfasi, Hajsafi, sorry, for Iran, out of one forty nine, Bill Mosher. Bill thinks that's, that that uh, the Arsenal will go third in the Premier League, win the FA Cup, and the Europa League. Wait, who's the who's the new manager? Who's the new boss for uh, for Arsenal now? There's Ziyuba for Russia. That'll be for great run for Russia. That'll be for Gabriel. Seven out of sixty-five.
There's Chicharito, Javier Hernandez. Mexico started off the World Cup in excellent form by beating Germany, but just didn't quite get there at the end. Ah, oh, Unai Emery from Paris Saint-Germain. I see. Liverpool have been connected with Allison. But we'll see if that deal comes down. We'll see Utamidi tomorrow. All right. And behind Jonas Hector is Nemanja Matic for Serbia. And that will be Bill Mosher with the Serbians. Do you like the manager change? Do you like Emery? All right, last box. Good luck, everyone. He's had some success at PSG. I think the... Uh, European competition has been sort of elusive for for that club. Neymar breaking his foot probably wasn't probably didn't help either. All right, last box here in pick your team number nine from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll give away a little break credit. A lot of break credit actually, seventy five bucks of break credit to someone. Bill would have rather preferred Diego Simeone, but he'll settle for Emery. A lot of good managers in the uh, in the Premier League. Jurgen Klopp, Mourinho, Guardiola, Emery. Right, almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Solid break so far. Let's see if we can finish this half strong. Second half is our last half case break of Prism World Cup Soccer, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We don't have very much of that left, so check that out. And good luck, everybody. We've got connections. These are not numbered right here. Uh, this is for Peru. We've got Miguel Layun for L3 for out of 199. Kip with Mexico, Polino for Brazil. Peru, that's for Bill. And then behind Enzo Perez is Carlos Puyol, autograph, nice. For Espana, that'll be for Rich, last spot mojo. With the big wild-haired Spaniard. There you are, nice. Longtime Barcelona man as well. And last spot mojo working well for Rich.
We got Gonzalo Iguain for Argentina. That goes to Enoch. Out of 149. And let's see if we have any low numbered cards or any short prints before we finish off this break. This Angel Di Maria, another one for Enoch and Argentina. Nice refractor. Silver, prism, whatever you want to call it. So many names. And that is that. Thank you, everybody. Let's give away some money. Money, 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 money. All right, now, once again, you have to buy at least three teams. So let's see how many... Names there are. Bill blocking a lot of people right here. He gets an entry. So does Daniel. He bought at least three. Gabriel bought at least three. I don't think this list is going to be very big. Jason with one. Kip with one. He got a lot of teams. And that's it. There you go. I think this is the smallest list I've seen for this promo. Bill, Daniel, Gabriel, Jason, and Kip, you have a one out of five chance at 75 bucks of break credit. All right? Did I miss anybody? Bill, Daniel, Gabriel, Jason, Kip. That's it. Good luck, you guys. All right. So after six times, one and a five, after six times, name on top, 75 bucks of break credit. Winner take all. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Six times. Name on top is Jason. Jason L. Congrats. After six times, 75 bucks of break credit coming your way. Congrats to you. Thanks to everyone for getting into this break. We've got the second half in the store. Another 75 bucks to give away. So check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.